What if you could style your React Native app with Tailwind's class name syntax, get dramatically better performance than existing class-based libraries, and still stay much closer to the performance you expect from well-optimized styling systems while keeping the developer experience you already love from Tailwind on the web? This is exactly what UniWin is about. It takes Tailwind's utility-first workflow, integrates deeply with Metro at build time, and delivers performance far beyond what earlier Tailwind for React Native solutions achieved. By shifting as much work as possible out of runtime and into the build step, UniWin keeps your app fast while letting you write clean, expressive Tailwind classes. Today I'm gonna break down what UniWin really is, how it works, and why it might be one of the most forward-thinking styling solutions in the React Native ecosystem. To understand UniWin, we need to start with how React Native applies styles. Every style follows the same path. It starts in your JavaScript code, passes through Fabric, goes into the C++ core, and finally reaches the native UI layer, UIKit on iOS, and Views on Android. There's no way around this. Even the built-in style sheet travels through the same flow, which is why it remains the baseline for raw speed. UniWin brings the full Tailwind workflow to React Native by shifting all utility generation, CSS parsing, and style computation to build time through deep Metro integration. It uses Tailwind's new CSS engine and a global CSS file to pre-compute static style objects, merges Tailwind utilities with custom CSS for a unified styling model, and embeds optimized styles and generated TypeScript types directly into the bundle for minimal runtime overhead developers can target iOS and Android with Tailwind style selectors, rely on a CSS variable-based theming system without JavaScript providers, and use Tailwind color utilities that automatically map to native component props. Together, these features provide a fast, consistent, and streamlined developer experience that brings Tailwind's ergonomics to React Native without the performance costs of older runtime-heavy solutions. If you prefer learning in small pieces, the Candy's Ocean newsletter might suit you. And if you'd like a start-to-finish guide, React Native Candies at courses.candiesocean.com takes you from the ground up I'm going to drop the links in the description below. So to kick things off, we'll set up a new boilerplate with UniWin pre-configured using create expo app command. Then it will prompt you to add a name, navigate to the project folder and open it in your code editor of choice. We've app folder inside source, a global CSS file with UniWin imported already and a metro file with UniWin pre-configured Inside the index route, we have some boilerplate code and to test, I'll tweak the font size. We'll define our custom variants in the global CSS file. First, we'll introduce a new theme layer and inside root, we'll add our variants with custom colors like background, foreground, primary colors and more. After that, we can keep expanding by adding additional variants like blue, red, orange, and so on. Finally, we'll reference these variant names in the Metro config as an array of strings. Let's define a cards component file, import icon along with flat list, image, text, view from React Native with our custom theme selector component, define the component boilerplate and default export it, We've a view already with background, now render flat list. The first data prop will take meal cards array, which we'll leverage to render the UI. Define meal card with ID, title, image properties. Then bind it with meal cards array. Then we've key extractor, followed by the most vital render item prop. We'll pass recipe card component to it. Inside it, we'll use card background for showcasing UniWin's features and render the name, image, then add some container styles, hide the vertical scroll indicator and eventually render list header component with the theme selector component inside it. We'll now toggle the themes 